Welcome back everyone. The time is 643, so it's time for your family first on this Monday morning. Each and every year, more than 2,800 kids are treated in emergency rooms after swallowing button batteries. That is one child every three hours. So in today's Family First, I had a chance to walk through some tips and speak with a doctor how to avoid this a button battery accident from happening. The holidays are behind us. The toys have flooded the house and kids want to explore. Young children have a tendency to find things on the floor and put them right in their mouths. I'm not telling you something that you don't already know. But a lot of parents don't realize a lot of those toys that your kids got for Christmas have hidden dangers inside of them that are at their fingertips hiding in plain sight. So it's very important to make sure that that button battery in those holiday toys are secured. Coin lithium batteries, otherwise known as button batteries, power everything around the house from toys and electronics to watches and even cute musical greeting cards. They can pack a tremendous amount of power into a small package. But they can be extremely dangerous and even deadly. Button batteries, when they get stuck, and particularly when they get stuck in the esophagus, can cause serious injury in as little as 15 minutes. The button battery can create an electrical current inside of your child's esophagus and create an alkaline chemical called hydroxide, which can burn internal tissue, which in turn can be deadly. If you think that your child has swallowed a button battery, getting emergency services and emergency help as fast as possible is the most critical thing. Dr. Grindle says one of the most important tips when it comes to making sure that your kids' toys are safe is making sure that their batteries have a screw on them so they are safely locked inside the toy to make sure that they don't get from the toy into their mouth. Now, if you do end up coming into a situation where you think your child has swallowed a button battery, research has actually found that if your child if you think that they have swallowed a battery, give them a spoonful of honey. The honey creates a protective barrier in their throat, like a coating, and keeps the battery from staying in one place. Now, some tips. If you do think that they have swallowed a button battery, call the 24-hour National Battery Ingestion Hotline. That number is right there on your screen, 800-498-8666. And something uh, that the doctor also mentioned is do not try to induce vomiting to get it up because that could actually cause more damage uh, than good and also report symptoms immediately. Look for fever, stomach pain, vomiting, and uh, blood in stool immediately. Wow, that's Scary. really interesting. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, interesting about the honey. Yeah. And I didn't even, and you wouldn't even think of that, but to think of it as like a protective barrier. Right, right, right. Well, even worse, the instinct is when, when your child is possibly choking on something, what do you Have want to do? Bring it up. Get it up. Exactly. Right. Yeah. It was scary to hear that it creates that alkaline chemical mm -hmm. that can yeah. just start burning, burning. almost immediately. He said yeah. within 15 minutes. Yeah. 